today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I cut myself cleaning my food processor this morning. So this is the look that I've been wearing a lot recently, just not on my videos because as you guys know, I've been pre-recording a lot, but I've worn this look three times in the past week. And that's saying a lot because I like to like wear different things. But honestly, I think this look is perfect for fall if you are a simple gal. I think um, we like to wear like a lot less makeup in the summer and we really like to glam it up in the fall time. So I did a little bit more than I would normally do as an everyday look during the summer. This is a lot of makeup for some people for an everyday look, but I think it's perfect for fall because it's just like a little bit vampy but natural at the same time. I don't know, I really like it. And it's something that you can wear all the time and just switch up the lip color. You could do a dark red, a brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have way, I have had way too much coffee today, and I'm like, oh, you can't tell. Okay, so if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm taking my hair out of my face with my little headband here. I'm going to take the Smashbox BB Water. I'm in the shade Light. You have to shake it up first, and then I'm applying this to my face. This is a Sephora Pro Airbrush brush. I'm not exactly sure the name, but it was in that limited edition packaging with the flowers. So I'm just applying that to my entire face. I skip primer when I use that because I find that I don't really need to. This is the Maybelline, uh, what is this called? The uh, uh, Better Skin Concealer, there you go. I applied that underneath my eyes to highlight and to cover up my circles and then I apply that to the rest of my face as I normally do. This is the Sedona Lace 217 brush, my holy grail concealer brush and I'm just blending all of that in. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, the press version. I love this. So I'm just taking the Real Techniques setting brush and I'm setting my under eye concealer. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline 24 hour cream eyeshadow in the shade creamy beige this came out with like their leathers collection But I still see it all the time and I'm just applying that to my entire lid I just wanted a hint of color, but not something that was really noticeable I like doing this for like an everyday look and then I'm applying some of that underneath my lower lashes with this fluffy brush for mascara I'm using this one by Clinique. It's like their chubby fat mascara, but this is a red shade, like a red color. And I think it's so cool, like so nice for fall because it's a deep cranberry shade. And you can tell it just gives like a slight hint. You can't tell unless you look really close, but I think it's cool. So now to finish up my face, that's all I do with the eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Bronzer, and I'm going to use this to contour. I don't exactly remember the name of this brush, but it's like a Morphe blush brush. Now I'm going to apply some blush. This is like a bronzer and blush in one. This is Benefit's Dallas Box Powder Blush thing. It's like a really pretty mauve color. It's so nice this time of year. I always bust it out in the fall time. It's beautiful. So for highlight, I'm using Becca's Champagne Pop. And I'm just barely putting this on the tops of my cheekbones. I don't want to look too glowy, but just a little bit of something, something. And now I'm moving on to my lips, and this is the star of the show. You can change up your lip color for an everyday because this eye look goes with everything, but this is ColourPop's Lippy Stick in the shade Grunge. And then that completes this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!